And on to the next one. This one, uh, 2002 GTX DI, really nice shape. Uh, fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. Got a few little things with the mirrors. I had the mirror, the mechanism that holds it all together has uh, come apart, so we gotta fix that. Uh, it needs a new badge on the other side, which is missing right here. Uh, they are what, 30 bucks on eBay, so no big deal. Outside of that, uh, it's all complete. Steering is really stiff, tight. Uh, the cable is rusty. Uh, so what I want to do is, he said it's got all kinds of problems and he's sick of it. So the dealer is just giving him all kinds of trouble. Uh, had some water uh, leakage, and uh, so he installed a bilge pump. Um, we we'll put a little switch up here, down in, in there. I ripped all that uh, wiring out uh, just before I started filming because that stuff just gets in the way anyway. So I'm going to pull the seats and uh, put a battery in it and we'll read it and see what uh, comes up. So let me pull the seats off, uh, it's no big deal, it's just two, two separate pieces and then uh, hook up the battery and then we'll hook up the computer and see what it says. Alright so we got it uh, all opened up. And I had to pull the uh, connectors off the computer. It was dead when I first put the tether on. Nothing was happening there. So plugged in, reading. Uh, 120 hours on the machine. And... Here we go, faults. 255 faults. Battery voltage high, that's just one. MPEM and TDC not initialized. Bad throttle position sensor. Mag throttle position not a range. So it looks like it needs a couple of throttle position sensors. Which causes this. Don't know what this is, unless that is, and that says it's an active code, MP, EM, and TDC. not initialized and that is an active fault which means we can't do anything with that fault in there and the PTO throttle position sensor is also got a problem so we're gonna have to uh, get down in here. I'm guessing that it's all due to water damage, water infiltration. This thing has just been sitting in tons of water. And I see lots of goop on the uh, magneto. Eh, it's probably gonna be an engine pull and redo, I don't know. I don't know what happens if I try and fire it up. starts instantly uh, but these two active faults so maybe I can throw a throttle position sensor in it which I have and see if that goes away but I don't know what this is so let's do some research and find out what that means and move on to the next step well, moving on, there's the mag PT uh, throttle position sensor. I pulled the PTO one off and then I got another error. So then I went to uh, reset the, uh, where are we here? There. So mag was at zero. So then I came in here and I pulled the plastic off. 
there's the uh, mag throttle position sensor and there's a connector right here I don't know if you can see it or not yeah right there so that connector was down on the bottom of the engine look at the corrosion all the paint oh my gosh yeah I don't know who knows this block could be toast or whether that's just the paint that's going to be an issue I don't know you can tell it's been in water. Look at the uh, engine support. All rusty. Cool. Bet you we can fix it. So now, if we go to the faults. That is now an inactive fault. So we no longer have a throttle position uh, adaption failure. We are down to the MPEM and TDC not initialized. So I just got to look up that code, see what that says. And now we can move on. She fires right up. Holy cow. Not very good throttle response, though. <laughs> You know what else we should do is uh, check compression just to see if we're working with uh, a messed up engine or not. So why don't we do that? All right, so we are hooked up to the mag side. Nice. And PTO. Side seems to be just dumping the fuel. Hmm. All right, let's go see what that other error is and then we can move on. Okay, so from what I understand, uh, P1600 is a uh, default code uh, that the uh, MPEMs come with from the factory. And what they're wanting you to do is reset the throttle position. Uh, where the heck do I do that now? I forget, right here. So they want you to reset it. And they want you to change this to 4.25. 4.25. Must lock to set and engine must be running. vehicle. And let's see if we got code still. Oops. That says inactive. Let's make that go to zero. Now I'm curious if we fire it up and rev the throttle, will we get some throttle response? Maybe, maybe.
she's smoking. Uh, I think now our next uh, approach is to take it out for a test drive. Uh, but I must say that uh, Candu Pro has definitely uh, come through for us on this one because that's it. All the codes are gone and she's running and I can see why the other guy was frustrated. Plug came off, reset that uh, initialization and uh, I don't know. Now we got to figure out the water leak. Apparently there's uh, a water leak and there's obviously a water leak problem. There's like rust in here. So we will sort that out. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, I think I'm going to, I'll put it on the trailer. I got it on the, the uh, dolly right now because I bashed my leg on the trailer uh, when I'm working on it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, hook this, put this thing on the trailer, put her in the water, get it, see what the problem is. And then uh, our next step uh, was see if we can find what the water leak is, and we got to change the steering cable because that's just a little too stiff. So this is cool. I like the, the additional steering uh, fin it has here on the back. I have no idea how that uh, helps, but I guess because it's such a big machine, it was thought that they needed that kind of assistance. But here on my uh, on my wake. Uh, I don't have that and this thing steers like no problem so don't know but uh, yeah let's put this thing on the trailer and get her in the water let's see if we can get this thing figured out the big water leak a little rough today back her into the waves that's enough it's pretty deep out there got water coming in all right let's go check it out not seeing any leaks there's a little bit of water in here but that was in there from before don't see anything there fire it up maybe That's weird. Push the button. The fuel injection comes on. Didn't like me removing the battery, I'll bet. Ah, back out. Let's go see what's going on. Just maintenance. All right, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. I'm guessing that I'm going to have to unplug all those connectors and plug them all back in again. And see if that gives us what we need. And then I'll have to figure out what connectors dirty and we'll have to spray them. Maybe I'll spray them with a deoxit right now. It's obviously something. Got the deoxit, so I'll pull those connectors, spray some juice in there, see what happens. Problem number one, pop the fuse. Ah. I guess that was too easy. All right, let's go back to the lake. All right, water lake, water test, take two.
water leak mystery is solved. That's crazy. I don't know, friggin' dealers, man. <laughs> well, that's an easy fix. I got the bolts. I'm just gotta take the exhaust off and uh, give me a chance to clean everything up in here anyway, but at least I know now what the leak was. And uh, this poor guy just uh, suffered from dealeritis, I guess. So uh, I guess we'll get this thing into the garage and do a full ripper apart, new cables while I pull the exhaust off and I can get at the cables better. We'll change the reverse cable. Look at this thing, just rusty to hell. He's had water problems for a while. We'll pressure wash everything, clean it up, make it like new. And I think this thing will be good to go. All right.